हाउ कैन यू स्टॉप प्रोग्रेशन ऑफ हिप एवियन so this question is actually applicable to the patients who are in early stages of hip avian that is stage 1 or stage 2 the patients who have already reached advanced stages of hip avian which is stage 3 or stage 4 avoidance of progression will not add any much to their life their hip joint is already damaged and the only practical option for them is getting a hip replacement done in a proper manner so focusing specifically on the patients who have early stage of hip avian have been recently diagnosed with stage 1 or stage 2 hip avian they should focus on preventing the progression of this avian to the advanced stages and at the same time letting it reverse to the normal stage and this can be done with two options so the one option is known as the medical management of hip avian which constitutes three major components the first component are the types of medicines which increases blood flow towards the diseased hip joint it includes blood thinners also which make the blood bit thin increase the blood flow to the small vessels of the hip joints so that it get nutrition and heals properly second component of this medical management is adding enough nutritional support to your diet to your medical management so that the recovery hip joint gets all the essential vitamins minerals proteins everything to recover properly and the third component is avoiding any kind of extra stress to the hip joint which can come from activities like running jogging jumping etc now there is another way of managing or preventing progression of hip avian which are known as regenerative therapies these are still experimental they have not proven their efficacy or the results in a proper hardcore manner still they are still being applied all over the world and they are giving good results but still a time tested applicability of such procedures such therapies is still pending so mainly in the regenerative therapies there are three types of procedures or therapies that are given to the patients of early stage hip avian to prevent the progression and help in recovering the disease number 1 is drilling the bone in this condition we drill the bones put holes in it which increases the blood flow towards the diseased bone second is adding prp injections which is also known as platelet rich plasma which is extracted from the patient's own blood by a medical technique and this injection is injected into the holes which have been drilled into the hip joint bone and it is assumed that there are growth factors a special type of chemicals in this uh, concoctions which can help in the healing of the diseased bone and at the same time there have been reports about the use of stem cells which help in regenerating the bone which is not doing so well which is diseased softened and pathological so the regenerative therapies have opened a new era for the treatment of bone or vascular necrosis of the hip avian patients especially who are in the early stage of the disease who are not responding to the medical management and who can still be saved from a hip replacement surgery so it can be kind of a middle path for those patients who are still in stage 1 and 2 the joint anatomy is normal but they are not responding properly to the medical management and they are not in the need of a hip replacement right now